How you doing everyone? Welcome back to the Siler TSE5 video series. This is Greg Larson with the Geospatial Tech Support Team. In our first couple videos we set up the TSC5, but now we got to get some files off of it. And the TSC5 offers a lot of file sharing options. So many in fact I had to split this into two videos, local file sharing and cloud file sharing. In the local files video we're going to go over how to connect your TSC5 to a PC using a USB cable, transfer files using a flash drive, and then we're going to look at a couple of third-party apps that help with file transfer. I think the most popular way to connect a TSE5 to a computer to share files will be through the USB cables. Honestly, it's just going to be the easiest way to do it. It's a feature that was missing from the TSE7. Uh, it was a little harder to do that with because of the Windows 10 to Windows 10 connection. Uh, but here, Android to PC, it's going to be much like it was with the TSE3 and Windows Mobile. Once you have your USB cable, plug it in to your computer and then plug it in to your TSC5. After you plug in the cable to your TSC5, you will see this screen pop up on the TSC5. For security reasons, the file sharing is turned off when you first plug in a TSC5. Scroll up and tap File Transfer. This will allow the TSC5 to start sharing files with your PC. If USB file transfer is properly turned on, you should be able to tap on your TSC5 and your internal storage will show up along with Trimble Data, your Projects folder, and then all your different job folders and there's a job there. And at this point, it's basic file management. The greatest benefit of this direct USB to PC connection will be to TVC users. We lost the ability to use the device pane when the TSC3 went away, but now that the TSC5 directly connects to a PC, we can now go into the device pane and look at your files directly in TVC. Once the device direct connection window is open, you can see your Trimble Access folder structure represented here by the little Android uh, character there. Expand your file tree, go into projects, and I'm going to use equipment testing here. And I'm I was out in the parking lot, and you can just drag and drop, just like you did before. And there's our data with the direct connection in TVC. The other common way to pull files off of a TSC file will probably be to use a compact flash drive. Typically, they come with a Type A connector. And there is an available USB-C to USB-A adapter. And you can just plug your flash drive into that. And then plug it into the bottom of the TSC5. A USB symbol will appear on the top notification bar. Swipe down and you can go to the USB drive directly. These are the files on your USB drive. Find the main directory for your TSC5 and then find your Trimble Data folder. Once you're in your Trimble Data folder, find the file that you need to copy. We'll copy this job right here. Tap and hold, and then tap the three dots on the upper right. Select Copy To, and then Find, and then go to your flash drive. And then tap Copy. The file is now on the flash drive. The other way to pull files off the TSE5 without connecting it to a computer is to install additional apps that allow file transfer over Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I installed an additional file manager because it allows me to share files a little bit more easily over Bluetooth. To find the Trimble Data folder in this app, click the main menu, scroll down, and Trimble Data is actually right there. And go right into my projects folder. 
find the right project. We'll use this parking lot job here. Tap and hold on it, and you get an additional menu. And when you find the three dots up here, you've got a share option. And here it's got a Bluetooth option. The other, the, the native TSC5 files app does not have the Bluetooth option, or you can save it to Google Drive. Tap on Bluetooth, and we can find my computer here. Make sure on your PC that you set the, the PC to receive a file. And once we hit the computer selection, it is now going to send the file over and we can save it to whatever file we'd like. Well, the other, one of the other nice things about apps like this, if I go back to the Trimble Data folder, find the Trimble Data folder, tap and hold on it. Again, go to the additional settings menu that pops up and you can add a shortcut. And this is going to add it to the home screen, touch and hold the place manually. This will give us a shortcut right on the home screen. If we hit add automatically and go to the home screen, we now have a Trimble data folder right on the home screen. And we can drag, oops, we can tap and wiggle, we can drag it over to the main screen. So it's much easier to see. And then I don't need these file apps here. So I can go right into my Trimble data folder using a shortcut. And then I don't need these additional icons. I can actually get rid of these off the home screen. So rather than cluttering up the home screen with all kinds of apps, I now have a Trimble Data, a direct link to my Trimble Data folder. Another popular file sharing app for Androids is AirDroid. It allows a TSC5 to connect to a computer wirelessly. Open the app on the TSC5 and then open the app on your PC. This establishes a link between the TSC5 and the PC once it's properly set up. The local connection mode is made when both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. The nice thing about AirDroid is once everything is set up, it embeds itself into the file sharing apps. If I go to my Trimble data folder, go to projects, and find a job that I want to transfer, tap and hold on it, tap the share icon at the top, and you can see that AirDroid has embedded itself into this file system. Just, just tap on my computer, and you can see that the, the parking lot job immediately transferred to my PC. The other nice thing about the AirDroid PC part of the app is it has a great file explorer. It reminds me of the Windows Mobile Device Center file explorer for those of you that are comfortable with that. So here you can go into different jobs you go ahead and uh, right click and download on it and then just save the job this is all done without a cable these are just some of the main options to transfer files locally off of the TSC5 in our next video we're going to get into a couple of the cloud sharing options for the TSC5 thanks for watching everyone and as always give us a call with any questions